Starbucks. Drive to, not drive through, drive to. We have no idea why. We Hello! I hope you're all okay and all good. Welcome to another video. My name is George. For those of you who don't know, feel free to subscribe down below if you're not already. And this is Jordan. Hello. Hello. Uh, today, uh, we are on our way to Bakewell, um, which is, I mean, I don't even know how to describe Bakewell. It's a teeny tiny town, home of the world famous Bakewell pudding and Bakewell tart. Does that sound about right? I guess so, yeah. It's in the Derbyshire Dales. Sorry, Jordan's trying to turn out of the hotel road right now and I'm probably in the way. As you are. Um, yes, it's in the Derbyshire Dales. We've been there once before, many moons ago, and before Jordan could drive, because we had to get like a rickety old bus <laughs> from... Welcome to the north. <laughs> no, a rickety old bus from, was it Leeds or Sheffield? Um, so we are going there. We've got a little like treasure trails book um, that Jordan got from Groupon um, that is like a little walk around um, Bakewell and the surrounding area where you can look at different things and different sites that can be seen while you are there. So we're gonna go and we're gonna have a very lovely day looking at some, doing some sightseeing and some touristy things in a little English town. Also, something I found out yesterday, for any bookish people who might happen to be watching this video, um, is that there is a pub there called the Rutland Arms. And apparently, the Rutland Arms is where Jane Austen was staying when she wrote um, Pride and Prejudice. So, uh, Pride and Prejudice fans, Bakewell might be the town for you to go and visit. Um, but yeah, we are on our way to go and do that. Anything to add, Muffin? No. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, we had those pastries for breakfast. In case you didn't finish the last vlog, we didn't eat all those pastries last night. We ate them for, like, first breakfast. We're hobbiting about today. There may be a second breakfast. We like food. made it to Sunny Bakewell, um, as you will have seen from all of the beautiful b-roll that I took on the way here. I got a little bit car sick on the journey because I looked at my phone one too many times, so you know that's fun for me. Keeping it real. Uh, we have made it to Bakewell, Jordan has paid for some parking, which means we can also park in Matlock, Matlock. and other places in Derbyshire Dales, but Matlock might be fun to have a look yeah. at too. We'll take you there if we go. Yeah, so uh, we are here. Um, it's beautiful weather, so we're leaving our jackets in the car um, and we're going to have a little wander down into town and see what's what. Yeah, but right now it smells like cane poo, so oh, yeah, we need to get going. This is like, what is it? Is this the livestock auction place? The livestock auction centre. So every now and then a cow will moo. Um, it's going to a better place. Oh, don't think about where the cows are going. Um, yeah, we have a wonder. It's beautiful. It is stunning. And you can see, like, I mean, you don't know if you can see them, but there's lots of sheeps over there. Sheeps. And obviously hills behind me. Oh, oh that's the livestock building. For anyone who's wondering where the cows go. Privilege to pee. Remember your contactless card? Uh? Frustratingly enough, you can't see it now because there's a lorry in the way. But that on the corner there is the Rutland Arms, uh, the Rutland Arms Hotel, where Jane Austen apparently stayed and wrote Pride and Prejudice. You're all welcome for the intel. I found out from a little guidebook. 
There she is, boys. We should probably explain what it is. Oh yeah, good idea. So it's a uh, puff pastry covered with a layer of jam and ground almond and egg filling. I agree, it was pretty delicious. So with warm custard, winner winner. And this is the Bakewell tart shop in um, Bakewell. Only available in Bakewell, according to that. Winner. Ah, shade. So, <laughs> the shade. Uh, so we've just finished at the Bakewell tart shop? Is that what it was called? I don't know. It was delicious. It was very yummy. I had a very nice time. And we walked pretty much back on ourselves to where we sort of started to start the treasure trail hunt thing. Ooh, Jordan and George visit Bakewell. And we that are, is Bakewell. We are doing that. Um, so these are from a company called the treasure trail, treasure trails.co.uk I think. Um, but there was a deal on on Groupon for a personalised one, which is what we got. Uh, I think they're usually about £12, including delivery for the personalised one. The non-personalised ones are a little bit cheaper. Um, and basically, it's a, a book of clues to follow. And this is where we start, just at the woodyard in Bakewell. And we have 18 clues to follow and check them off on the map. And there's a potential prize yeah. at the end so this is going to be a, a fun little like a, like hunt a two hour thing. walk type yeah. thing um we're not going to show too much of it because we don't want spoilers in case yeah. anyone else wants to do it um but we'll show some bits that we see anything that we think looks interesting yeah um and some fun facts that they've put in here which we may be able to share as well yeah. so let's go and do that um so we're already walking back on ourselves because we failed. We failed. Misread the instructions on clue number one. Well, I mean, I didn't misread the oh. instructions. I wasn't allowed to read the instructions, so you, sir, misread the instructions. I look very shiny. Well, so we're going back to the start. RTFC. <sighs> read the fucking clue. Oh. <laughs> You're in Bakewell of all places. <laughs> read the flipping clue. Language. Watch your language. Thank you. 
British Legion Garden of Remembrance, soldiering on, as it very much were. Um, I you... swear I said that joke before you started did. recording. You did, and you didn't jump in and say it, so I've stolen it from my very self. Um, yeah, I don't know what so to we, say. So we're cracking on with the treasure. It's actually really good fun. It is really it? fun, because I, I mean, I feel like I'm looking more yeah. at like everything as we're walking by. I think that's the whole point, isn't it? You, yeah. You're literally having to pay attention to what you're looking at and that's quite fun otherwise you could easily walk past like this gardens we didn't even know about um yeah it's really good really good fun. yeah because even because we were looking for a particular street so i was like looking all about myself and i think obviously you saw that there's a church for sale and um i saw like somewhere that said it was the original place of the bakewell pudding and like it's just really fun it's really nice to look at things yeah, and have some fresh air and do real things. Real world things. Real things. Real walking and real, real looking. Real, 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 real. It's all real. For anyone caring to join us on the Bakewell walk, you need some decent level of fitness. <laughs> George, how are you feeling? I'm having fun. Yeah? Yeah. Feeling fit? No. No. I'm feeling very unfit, but I'm having a nice time. Some fun, that's all that matters. <laughs> So the clues have brought us to this beautiful churchyard. It's a huge church. And what do we need to look for? Well, we need to look for a wall clock. So um, we're going to go and find a wall clock. Okay. Wow. September 1779, Say that again. Uh, the memory of Jonathan Brunt, June. June? Uh, oh, Jonathan Brunt Jr., uh, late, late surgeon on board the sturdy beggar, privateer of Liverpool, which was wrecked in the Atlantic Ocean off the island of Fyle, where he died in September 1779, aged 19 years. So, like, 200 and a bit years ago? Is that right? Is yeah. That's right? Jeepers. See, look, you're, we're finding things that we wouldn't have found otherwise. Looking at bits. Looking at bits. It's just and having a view like this. I mean, wow. it's quite spectacular. So we just found the clue, one of the clues in the church. Yeah. Um, so far we've only done a handful of clues, but we've seen so much, haven't we? Yeah, um, it's a good way to see the town, sure. What car is it? it? Must come down. So we found these little steps here, which Jordan's going to read something from the thing. So in the, in the book it says, towards the bottom of the hill you'll find some steps by the black door. They were used to get on your horse and moved in 1960 from the Anchor Inn. How fun How is that? Fun. Oh yeah, it literally says moved from the Anchor Inn. Oh yeah, I've zoomed in enough you can see it. How fun. Such larks. <laughs> Surely the best kind of road. A road with butts. <laughs> so, we, it is like half past one, 25 to two, and um, we're coming to the end of this. Um, absolutely smashing it out of the park, I'm not going to lie about it. There's Jordan. Uh, <laughs> um, we've got two more left to tick off, and yeah, we're basically nearly time done. Time has flown. Time has flown. It really it's has, really and good it's fun. so much fun because we've been like looking at like all sorts of different things and almost getting lost and yeah. having to go back and try again. Yeah, and it's good. And what's, it's really interesting because like we just said as I was walking through um, the like Portland Square, I think it's called. Um, that it just keeps going and going. Like it, there's so many little nooks and crannies of Bakewell that we didn't see last time we were here. Um, which is kind of amazing to kind of get to look at them in this way because like we already said you're looking for clues so you're looking harder than you would look normally so it's just seeing more see yeah. more do more it's good isn't it really yeah. good fun yeah and a challenge yeah it's it is it's quite cryptic isn't it so yeah. you do have to think about it yeah it's, it's good fun we figured that out i think like a little like i think maybe three quarters of the way through or two thirds of the way through it was like this is it's a bit more yeah so the little ones couldn't play it on their own. Yeah. It definitely needs a parent or adult with them, but yeah. um, it, it would be really good fun to do with kids, wouldn't it? Yeah. Get, getting them to find the different things. Obviously, it's a shame we can't show you most of them because it's a spoiler if anyone yeah. wants to do it, but you sort of get the idea. You're having to sort of look at buildings and um, even little plaques on buildings, isn't it? And trying to get the detail out of them and then they tally up to a clue on the map yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good for yeah me. it's been so much fun i'll leave links to it all in the description i should have said that earlier on but i'll leave links to everything in the description so that um if you are interested in uh, <laughs> tiny dogs um i'll leave links to everything in the description box below um in case you want to go and find out more about it because 
it's been really fun. And we've got another one of these that we can do at some point as yeah. well. So, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Hello. Fish and chips have been acquired from the Riverside Fish and Chip Shop. It's giant. It's giant fish. Look at the size of it. That's enough my tits for this, not gonna lie. Mush peas, George. Pashies? Can't have fish and chips without mush peas. Pashies. Like a true southerner. Pashi meas. Look at this. We're still sat here, having sits, watching the ducks. Also, look how clear the water is. You can't see me, but I'm smiling. <laughs> can't hear you either. Have a guess where we're going. Oh, that's all right. Very, very quiet, a little bit intimidating, but it was really, really cute. Lots of really lovely, lovely stuff in there. We then went to the Bakewell Tart Shop again and picked up bits. Which we'll see. Which will what be. Did we, what did I get? I don't know. We've got I was a Bakewell there. pudding, another one. Uh, sausage and tomato roll, the sausage roll, and a peak pasty, which I had to ask what a peak pasty was. But apparently it's Cornish pasty, but they can't call it a Cornish pasty because we're not in Cornwall. So that would be a delicious dinner for us. Very nice. And then we went to Bloomers. Bloomers. Yeah, Bloomers Bakery, which you've also seen, to sample their festive delights. And also to pick up a little beverage. And a little jam. So... Yeah, just been wandering around and looking at the little town um, and we're probably going to be heading off shortly. Are we going to go to Matlock? I think we will. Maybe little, for half an hour. A little nip to Matlock and see what that's like um, before heading to tonight's hotel, which is in... Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes. Bit of time. You can never have enough duck footage.
How do? It is 20 past five. Further sitting has ensued. Uh, further down the river in, was it River Gardens? Is that what it was called? Yes. Just having a little sit. Just enjoying the world. This has been a really nice day. Would you agree? Don't call. <laughs> Yes, it was very nice. It's been really, really lovely. Lovely, lovely weather. Yeah, surprisingly, we weren't expecting it to be quite as warm as it was. So jeans felt like an error, but it was nice. I had a nice. Lots of goodies. Goodies, goodies, goodies. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. <laughs> so I've got goodies to look forward to when we make it to the hotel. <laughs> I was moving to get out of the way. Uh, um, yeah, we've got goodies to look forward to when we get to the hotel. But first, I think we are going to nip to Matlock. Is that correct? Yeah. Because it is basically on the way to the hotel. So. And it'll tell us whether we should go next time. Yeah. If it looks pretty. Yeah. So, I'm going to get in the car now and I'm going to try and not be sick this time. I wasn't sick, I just didn't feel well. I'm going to try and not feel unwell this time. In a park, Jordan's Eating eating again. mini gums. We just had a very flattened brioche that's been in my bag all day. Just had a little wander around Matlock, and it's very pretty. It's very picturesque in that same way that Bakewell is, like sort of a lot of old-timey looking buildings and stuff, um, and some really nice views, um, especially when we're walking up to this park. Actually, you can see all that. It's very hilly around here, so there's a lot of hilly stuff. So we're just having a little sit and a little rest because Jordan was getting sad of carrying the bag or his bag. Um, there's people in a skate park scooting around and there's men on a tennis court playing two-on-one tennis because choices. I don't know what the plan is after this. Just heading to the hotel, I guess. Because a lot of Matlock is closed because it's like half past six. So, yeah. See you in a hotel in a bit. Isn't this the cutest post office ever? And that's the council building. And the fanciest wheel cars I've ever seen. It's nice. Is this for a bit of vlogception? Jordan is over there waiting for the train to go past so we can get a cheeky little video of the train for the vlog. And this is the train that we got when we were going to Bakewell last time we were here because Jordan didn't have a car at that point, so it was like um, that so obviously we had to get public transport um, so we got a train I forgot we got a train to either Matlock or to Bakewell I can't remember where and then we had to get a bus and then another bus to Chatsworth House so yeah he's getting a video of the train
Hello. You ready to go? Yeah. Have you had a good day? I have. Have you? Yeah. Ooh. Also, look at the sky. Look at the sky. No, wait, let's look at the stars. Never mind. Just about out room 218 and just it's out of secure. Deep clean. Fans. Fans. Yeah. fans. Hello, welcome to the Marriott in Milton Keynes. Delta Hotels, it said outside. Is that what it's called? Delta, yeah, Delta Hotel Marriott. Welcome to the Delta Hotel Marriott in Milton Keynes. Um, we, are in, we are on the second floor, room 218. Freshly sanitised, as the sticker says. And actually, I should turn this round. That's probably easier, isn't it? I've not done a room tour in such a long time. You enter and there's a pretty man on the bed. Or maybe that's just this room. Uh, bathroom is in here. Shower, bath, toilet, mirror. Hello. Um, there are two spare towels. Ooh. Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. Very nice. Bar soap, if you are that way inclined. Um, in the wardrobe here, um, before we removed them with two extra two extra pillows, but also extra towels, fan, ironing board, iron, hangers, and a safe that I imagine makes a satisfying <coughs> noise. Full length mirror. Hello. Pretty men on the bed. Who's exhausted from driving for <laughs> nearly two hours. Um, two new pillows on the big bed. A holy oh. oh my god, is this Book of Mormon? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, the Book of so Mormon. Nice. Hello, <laughs> my name is Elder Price, and I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Wow. Never had one of those before. That's new. Um, desk with a fun chair. Things that you bought from the Bakewell Tart Shop. Another mirror. They know that I like to look at myself. A TV that dwarfs the one. And we can actually connect YouTube to this one and watch our own thing. Fabulous. This absolutely dwarfs the one that was at the Travelodge. Yeah. <laughs> it's and so the other one big. doesn't have internet on either, so fancy to me. Winner, winner. Uh, table. Some free water. Yeah. That's for being a gold member, mate. She's golden. Um, little chair and the view is of pitch black nothing. I don't know what's out there. I can see trees, you know. Who needs a view? Um, and tomorrow we have breakfast. A Buffett breakfast. Is that right? Yes. Hot Buffett. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to shower, have some food, and wind down. I might just end this here. Should I just end this here? This is future George, um, jumping in to talk about food because I'm nothing if not really on brand. Um, we nipped into the M&S in, you like my socks? Um, we nipped into the M&S in Matlock um, just because we were there and it was like the only thing that was open and we were just wandering around. Um, and in their bakery, they had double chocolate donuts. Now, these double chocolate donuts, mama, they appeared, when did they appear? Like, months ago. months and months ago. And were sort of available every now and again. They are the most delicious thing that have ever existed in the M&S Bakery. And I urge you, if you ever see them, make sure you pick them up. These were reduced to 50p because we think they must be going like away because they've not really been that consistently anywhere. So if you see them, get them. I promise you, you will not regret it. Correct? Absolutely. Aren't they good? They are. I can't wait to eat them, along with everything else. Yeah. You're going to get the next food. And now here's for the things that we got at the Bakewell Tart Shop. What did we get? Bakewell Tart Shop, yeah. I remembered. I'm clever. We got... What's this one? Oh dear, this has not travelled well. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's a sausage roll. Oh, okay. That's your sausage roll? Just mine. Some, no. Our sausage roll. Well, don't tell me it's mine, then. This is a tomato and sausage roll. 
Oh my god, Ooh, she's a fat, a fat boy. Well, that looks delicious. It does look very good. And then... Oh my god. What? Is it cute? Is it a weighty boy? Feel that. That's a lot. That is a lot. So this is the peak... What is it? Peak pasty. Peak pasty. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Look at her. I'm just going to put my face in there. Well, you can't because some of it's mine. And then we got a medium sized bake well pudding. That's a sensible sized dessert right there. But we've had like. That's half true, of one we haven't had one of these already. Maybe that could wait until tomorrow. I think it could. I think with all these things. And the, oh my god. <laughs> we might not eat all of these things. Why is like, every trip we go on a food trip? I don't know. Why are we those people? I promise we don't eat like this all the time. It's not always this bad. No, that's true. But we're on holiday. Yeah, we're on us holidays. Oh no. Oh no, Johnson. I can't believe it. No. We're gonna be right bad. <laughs> right. Bye. So that has been our little trip to Bakewell, Matlock, and a brief room tour of the Marriott, the Delta Hotel Marriott in Milton Keynes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a bit of a different one for this channel, but I guess I'm not really like doing regular content as often. So, you know, I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to put a thumb in it and subscribe down below if you want to see more. There'll be one more of these, which will be tomorrow when we are going to Bletchley Park, which I'm really, really, really looking forward to, um, which apparently is also only five minutes down the road. So, you know, winner, winner. So. Oh. I love each and every one of your faces, but not as much as I love Jordan's crazy face right now. Um, I'll speak to you. <laughs> That's much better. Um, I'll start that again. No, it's fine. Keep it in. <laughs> they know. Oh my weird. god! I just I, I've lost the I've lost the words to live. Oh, just um, subscribe. <laughs> I love each and every one of your faces, but not as much as I love Jordan's. Um, this finished. And I'll speak to you as soon as I possibly can. I think that's where I got to. Finished. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Ooh. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>